you sometimes look back and think, well, what would have happened if I lost, you know, in the second round? It would have been a great effort to win a match, but, you know, whether I would have had that kick start to my career or not, you really don't know. Yeah, I had to play Stoltz in the final. Uh, once again, I, I knew him through being an orange boy a couple of times at Davis Cup ties. Um, he was such a nice guy, a level-headed guy. Walking out there, I really just didn't want to embarrass myself more than anything. I uh, wanted to put up a competitive match. For me, it was more about, again, not going out there and getting killed. A lot of my friends and family were there all week, really, sort of just riding this wave more than anything. You know, from qualifying the year before at the Australian Open as a 15-year-old, I guess Australia probably had heard of me, but internationally wise, after beating the likes of Agassiz, I guess that's when you get thrown into a lot bigger spotlight. Sensational tennis here. And I think it takes a good eight months to a year to establish yourself. Players start working out your game style and, and ways of beating you, and sometimes you do go slightly backwards to make bigger inroads forwards. Well, I'm not sure you had to play. I was very lucky to end up winning 7 6 in the third set, another nail biting tie break to finish the tournament. Yeah, at the end you had to pinch yourself. You know, players go through so much of their career wondering if they're ever going to be able to hold up an ATP Tour title. And uh, for me to do it my first ATP event, main draw, was uh, amazing, especially in my backyard in Adelaide. <laughs>